All right, everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we are playing with the battle tradition. Let's get started. Mob waterfall. What is this? So, this is what it is. This is a mob waterfall, and how it works is this is using summon command. I'm using summoning ravages 500 blocks above my head because you know this should be enough to get rid of them instantly. Otherwise, the mobs will be dropped, coming way too fast and will wait, take way too long to die. And I don't want to do manual killing. It was time for that. So I just made a little mob waterfall here. Here, the mob will slowly fall down to the command block. I mean, will fall quickly, but still will be slow. Because, you know, um, I don't know why, but... You don't know, you know, the ticks per second are slow right now. The game is running, the frames per second is low, the ticks per second is also low. The ticks per second is the actual lag in the game, whereas the frames per second are actually not the lag, these are like the, um, the visible lag. So the ticks per second are just the invisible lag, which technically means that they are not actually... I mean, the takes per second are the lag that you experience, like, when you eat food, the food will be eaten slower, you will go up, down slowly, you won't be able to move quickly up front and back, that would be a takes per second lag, whereas the frames per second lag, the game will slow down in frames, like, the things will be moving normally, but just the fact that your cursor will be very laggy because of the lack of frames per second will result in this anomalous type of video recording colors low frames per second fps the real problem the actual lag is the dps which means ticks per second which if slow down the game has 20 ticks in one second but if the ticks per second are slowed down the game will run slowly and the slower the game runs, the worse it gets because you know, you don't want to know. But let me tell you, the lower ticks per second, I mean, lower frames per second results in laggier gameplay because, you know, everything becomes slow. Rather than becoming like, you know, laggy looking, it feel laggy. That look, like your frames are still high but your game is running slow like you can see the ravages falling slowly down that's the ticks per second lag not the frames per second lag because the ravages are constantly moving you can see them moving which proves the fact that you are the frames per second are working perfectly but the ticks are not so what to do if your ticks per second is slow just get rid of extra entities yeah entities are one of the main reasons of ticks per second happening in the first place. Now, bad recognition do not have chunk borders and chunk loaders and stuff like that. Otherwise, it would be far more technical. We don't have F3 screen. You have to use your brain to know where is north, where is south. Else than that, bad recognition is very, very normal. Just like regular Minecraft. Right? Yeah. They are making parity changes, so they change the barrel recipe, which was cheaper before, but now it is more expensive. This is what you get to become Java edition, I guess. I don't know what, I don't know why they are doing this because I think the way it was was not really bothering anyone except for the one who were playing here for the first time from Java to better changes. Because better edition players already know how Java is like because you know. Most of the YouTube is full of, of Java YouTubers. So, you already know how it feels to play Java. Because, you know, you play Minecraft and you know what it looks like on the inside. So, you can just experience it through the screen of another person. It sounds weird, it is. It does. I know it does, okay? But this is how the better players already know that Java is far worse than Bedrock. And the fact that you drift in mid-air while flying is weird Let, like what is the point of flying if you're drifting you have want to be 
more precise, precise in your placement rather than being drifted here and there. Like you want to go forward, go forward rather than going in a very linear motion. Better condition way of motion is far more, I guess, digestible because you know you will stop as soon as you remove your finger from the button just the way how it should have because you know otherwise you will drift and you might stop at the exact moment of falling off from a cliff then drifting will not save your life it will rather kill you right that's my point like to get to a point you have to like stop moving beforehand oh my god there was a lot of wardens here so I was trying to do a wooden fall trap but it did not work out because you all can see you all can see this one not work out well.